look at conditional formatting. November 2016, we're working in four reports, learners. Some learners have reported bullying. Apply conditional formatting to column G so that all the cells showing learners that have reported bullying. Okay, I'll have a look at the formatting just now. Let's just have a look. So I'm in report four, I'm in learners, column G. Okay, so how will I know whether they've reported it or not? You'll see there's an N or a Y, so obviously the Y stands for yes. So I'll select the cells. A shortcut to select a whole range of cells like this is to stand in the top one, Control shift and press down. It will, however, stop if there's a blank. So always just check manually that it went all the way to the bottom. Okay, let's have a look at what the question was. Um, so everyone who has reported bullying uh, needs to appear in a light gray fill and have a green border. So then I'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, and this is text that contains a Y. And I'm not going to leave it with a default formatting. I need to go to a custom format, change the full shading is full to a light gray, and the border to green. Now, after I've changed the border color to green, I still need to apply a border. Just remember that. And then we can say, OK. November 2014, two. To recycle, and we need to work in the mass worksheet. To recycle, or for recycle, we're in the mass worksheet. Okay. Apply conditional formatting to column F to display all the cells above the average total mass with blue shading, column F. So column F, I can't just select the whole column, I'm just selecting the cells that are applicable. And I need to highlight them if they are above average. Now, it's not over there, it's under top and bottom rules. Above average, and then I can change it. Instead of using one of these defaults, I go to custom format, full, and I change it to blue. It's always best to use these standard colors at the bottom so you know the marker is clear on what color you've chosen, that it's not turquoise or something funny. Next up, we've got November 2015, four stats. Apply conditional formatting to column E to display all the negative values in a red font color and all the positive values in a blue font color. Okay, so I'm in four stats, I'm on the correct sheet. And it was column E, let's just double check. Yes, column E. Negative values red, positive values blue. So anything that's negative is less than zero. So I'll select all the text, conditional formatting, highlight. If it's less than zero, and they said it needs to be a red font color, so I'm going to choose red text in this instance. And then they said also anything that is a positive value, which will be above zero, will be greater than zero. Now they don't have blue as an option here, so I need to go to custom format and change the font color to blue. And always choose the standard colors. You'll see if you hover over that, it actually says it's blue. For March 2016, we're working in three extreme and an EX worksheet. Use conditional formatting and column D to display the cell with the highest value and the cell with the lowest value in bold. Column D. Right, so I'm in extreme, I'm in exe, column D. So I'll just select everything. In this instance, you'll see the shift and down arrow doesn't work because it stops with everyone, with every single cell that's blank. So then you have to go select it manually. Now, to get the lowest and the highest value in bold, there's no way to do that one shot. So I'm going to say I want the top number one bold and the bottom number one bold. But there isn't a top one and a top, um, a top or a bottom one, so I need to go to more rules. So I'm going to say top one, and I make the format 
bowl. There you go. And more rules. Bottom one. Format. Bold. There you go. Just to show you how the markers would actually mark that, they go to conditional formatting, they go to manage rules, and then they can see what rule you've applied and what format and to which cells. For the last one, November 2016, three mine in the stats worksheet. We need to use a spreadsheet feature to apply any shading to the 10 biggest decreases in production in any month over the past five years. Okay, that sounds very difficult. Column B to F. But if you actually go and look at the data, it's actually not that complicated. It's not like you have to do a calculation or anything. Basically, they just show you here are the months. These are the year-on-year -year statistics for every year. And they just want the 10 biggest decreases over all the months over all these years to be shaded in any color. And you can see from the mark allocation that it shouldn't be too complicated as well. So it's only two marks. Any shading, 10 biggest decreases. So a decrease would be a negative amount, eh? So I'll go to conditional formatting, top and bottom, and I'll say the 10 bottom items. And they said any shading, so I can just leave it with the default one.